Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma. The most important aspect of you getting your job, getting a freelance gig, starting your freelance business or growing your business is to have your online presence, is to have a website that people can visit to and learn about who you are and what do you do and what experience you have. What business have you started? What are the offerings of the business and how can they contact you? Now in this video, I want to show you a very simple and easy tutorial, a step-by-step -step process process that you can go through to get your website up and running in no time whatsoever. A lot of people ask me how to make your website, how to get it up and running. A lot of you don't know how to code. How do you make sure that everyone around the world can access your website without waiting for it? All of that I will be answering in this video. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe and let's talk about how to get your website up and running. So first of all, you need the domain name for your website, right? ishansharma.com or for example youtube.com on which you're watching this video right now similarly you would be requiring a domain name for your particular website that you want to create for some of you that might be a portfolio website so you can choose your own name for some of you that might be your business for example marketup.in you will have to find a unique domain name that no one else has bought so far so you create that and the next step is going to be to create the content for the website. Now I know a lot of you who are watching this video are not that great at front end development. You don't know how to actually create websites using code. So I'll be showing you a very easy and simple way to create websites with the help of WordPress. WordPress.org is a content management system that is used by millions and millions of websites at this point and is powering I would say at least 10 to 30% of the complete internet right now. It makes it really easy for you to make your website and use drag and drop tools to create different elements and make it look amazing and responsive at the same time. So I'll show you exactly how to do that as well in this video. And the last step is to actually host your website. Now, hosting is very interesting because what you're basically saying is, this is the content of my website, take it and put it on your server and make sure that this server is very well distributed around the world so that anyone who wants to access my website can very easily open it up without the need to wait to get the data for the website from a very far away location. So you need a content delivery network, they call it. So all of this I'll be talking about in this video. Make sure that you watch this video till the very end. The comment section and the description will have a lot more information about how to do this if you want to read a written format of this. So you can look at that as well. In this video, I'll show you how to host your website with the help of Bluehost, a step-by-step -step process for doing so. If you are just curious, Bluehost, if you go onto the wordpress.org website, it is the most trusted WordPress hosting provider, as you can see right here, it comes at number one on the WordPress website itself. They have powered over 2 million different websites and it makes very simple for you to create a website and host it on Bluehost that I'll be showing you in this video as well. You can check out the link in the description to sign up for the Bluehost hosting service and get started with your WordPress website over there. And now let me take you through the exact step-by-step -step process that you can take. First of all, you need to visit bluehost.in always go to bluehost.in and go to WordPress and click on WordPress hosting. Once you go here, you can click on the view plan section. They have one of the best value for money plans for you to pick and get your website up and running as you can see right here, right? Depending on what type of website you want to create, you can choose between these. So for example, if you just want a simple blog, if you want your own portfolio website, you can go ahead with the basic plan that they have right here for 179 per month. Or if you want multiple sites, maybe you want a lot more functionality, maybe you want to sign up users, maybe you want to add privacy and security, then you can also take a look at the plus and the choice plus plans that are available for hosting your website. As you can see, the features are as follows. In the basic one, you'll be getting one website, 50 GBs of SSD storage for the total content of the website that you'll be having. You'll be having a domain for one year that you will get in this plan. You will also get a SSL certificate protection. If you don't know what that means, it basically le legitimizes your website and Chrome browsers will assume that this website is safe to actually launch. If you do not have a SSL certificate, it will always just say that this is not a secured website for you to use. You also get a WordPress website builder in which you can very easily just drag and drop elements and create your website from scratch. They'll also be having over a hundred plus free WordPress themes for you to choose. And all of this can be done without the need for you to know how to code. It's really amazing. And let me show you exactly how this works. Just click on any of the plans that you want to go. I'll just go ahead with the basic one 
and the next step is going to be to create a domain and I'll just click on next. Let's just see what happens. The domain is now available. I just need to sign in with Google and I can get this domain for one year and I can just enter all of my information right now. So this is the first step, create that domain that you want. If you have already bought the domain from somewhere that you can go to the previous part and you can use a domain that you currently own. So I've just clicked on this investkarbefikarnow.com. Uh, so I'll just click on next from over here. Or you can also just click on, I'll create my domain name later. So if I just click on this part, it will randomly just give me one domain that I can go ahead with. You can just enter all of your information and once you're done with this, once you complete the payment, you will get an actual email in your inbox that tells you to initiate the process of making your profile. So this is what it will look like as you can see right now. Welcome to Bluehost India. This is sort of my domain name that they have assigned to me for now. And you can see that the payment confirmation is listed right here. This is my billing information that I have censored in front of you. This is the payment details, the receipts. And if you go down, you will see something interesting. This is the important account information for you. It has the domain name, the host, the username and the password. Now, your profile has not yet been created, but the purchase has been done. The next step is for you to create a unique password for your profile. So you click on change your password. You enter the domain over there that is listed right here. As you can see, ynh.vrs.mybluehostin.me. Enter karo and then just click on change password. Then you can assign a new password to your account. You do that and that is how you will be able to now access your Bluehost account. This is a very simple process and once you're done with this, we can move on to the next step. Now, once you create your password, this is the screen that you would basically be seeing. It's the beginning of your adventure. I'll click on create my website and I'll just click on skip this step. What I can choose between here is either a blog or a store or a business or a portfolio resume, right? So depending on what is it that you're doing right now in your career, you can choose either one. If you are building a blog, then you can go with this. If you are just someone trying to get an internship or trying to get a job in your career, you can definitely go ahead with portfolio or resume. Or if you are someone trying to build a business, then these two might be more important for you. Let's just say I want to go ahead with a portfolio or a resume right now. So I'll just click over here and I'll just put up, this is going to be a personal one and who are you creating a site for? It is going to be myself. I'll click on continue. What do you want to name your site? So I'll just call it Ishan Sharma. What is the tagline? So depending on what website you have, you can have a different tagline. I'll just click on, you know, loves to code and design. I'll just go ahead with this and I'll click on continue right now. So let's see what do we have? I can pick any of the theme that I want to use with the help of Bluehost, right? So all of these are free themes that I can pick. Now, if you want to choose a theme over here, you can definitely do that right now. If you do not, you can always choose a theme later when we are actually in the main control panel of the WordPress Bluehost site. So I'll always just click on skip this step. And now it is actually installing WordPress into our profile into this domain name that we have. So let's just wait for some time. And as you can see, this is what it looks like right now. Once you've opened up the Bluehost dashboard, as you can see right here, you just need to go to my sites and click on the site that you've already created and click on manage. What you can also do is just go on to login with WordPress. So right here, you'll just click on this, log into WordPress, just wait for some time. Basically, whenever you make your Bluehost account and whenever you create a site, it auto automatically creates a WordPress account for you as well. And that is what you can log into right here. So I'll just click on what type of site is this Ishan Sharma. I'll just go for personal, click continue. And after that, you can choose various themes for it. Now, if you want to see what the website looks right now, you can always just go to visit site and you can see how it looks right now. It's a very simple site right here. What you need to do right now is we have to add a new theme to it so that it looks really good. So we'll just go to appearances, we'll go to themes and we will be going on to this part right here. You can choose what theme you want. We'll go to wordpress.org themes and this is what you have. You can go to something like Astra maybe and you can click on adding this right here. So you just click on install and this is a theme that we can install. If you don't know what a theme is, this is basically a new design for your website. 
and this is what you can do to make it look much much better depending on what type of website you're trying to create so we'll just go back and this we'll just click on activate and now the astra theme is now activated if you want to know what to do next you can just click on get started as you can see thank you for installing astra and after that you can start to tweak how it looks in the editor and you can start creating your own website just by dragging and dropping you can just click on build this website right now you can also watch this video if you want to or you can totally skip it as well the next step would be to find out what page builder do you want to use you can go with whatever you want to i'll just go with elementor right here and here you can find a list of templates that you can get started with depending on what one you like the most you can find some paid ones you can also find some free ones right here whenever you see this premium one this is basically means that you need to pay for it so you can just choose what is it that you want to go ahead with you can also search for specific ones like for example portfolio and cv so let me just go down and see the one that looks good for me and my style. I think this looks really good, a theater artist. Or I think I should go with this. Hello, I am Brienne, I'm a freelance copywriter. So I'll just click on this part. And then this is what you would see. This is a Elementor website editor. Now this website builder will take you step by step and you will be able to edit all of the things yourself. The first thing it is asking for is a logo. Right, so if you see over here, this is the logo that they have for now. You can upload your own file if you want to. For example, I'll just go ahead with this logo of MarketUp that I currently have and I'll click on select. And this is what it looks like. You can always reduce the size of this logo so that it actually fits and it doesn't overlap with other elements on the website. Then you can always click on continue and the next step is to change the colors and the fonts of this website that you are looking at. If you see this website follows a particular color theme, if you go down it has a particular font as well. You can alter that right now You can, or you can just go ahead with the current one. So I'll just click on continue and then I'll just add in my first name and then my work email. So I'll just go ahead with ishan at marketup.in. I am a beginner and this is myself. Or my company just click on submit and then this will be able to very easily build your website up there are going to be a few things that you can tinker with once this website is built you can change that main tagline you can change the photo you can do all of that but let's just wait for this thing to be completed all right the website template has now been applied if you go down you can click on view your website right here and this is what the website looks like right now now we need to look at this coming soon active. What this basically means is that right now, if you open up your website, it will still say coming soon because we can actually create different versions of the website right now, while we are actually building the website, we can let everyone know that this website is under construction. So it will be coming soon. And once the website is made, we can change that coming soon to the actual version of the website. Now, when you click on edit with Elementor right here, it will open up a very simple drag and drop tool that you can use to change things on your website, right? So let me show you exactly how this works once this thing actually loads. All right, so I'll just, I can actually drag and drop whatever it is that I want to place on my website. So for example, if I want to have a simple button, I can place it right here and it shows me that where this button will be placed on the site that I currently have. So I'll just put it over here. You can make all types of changes that you want. You can also change this text right here and you can choose whatever it is. For example, I'm a freelance, you know, marketer. So I'll just choose marketer right here. Right, so this is basically what you need to do. You can also delete this complete block of text if you want to by just right clicking on it and just clicking on delete or you can do other things with it as well as you can see right here. So that's what you can do. It's very simple for you to just move around with the text and the other elements of the website with the help of Elementor in WordPress. So as you can see, once you make your website, once you make all the changes, this is how it will look like. You can have a proper domain name for yourself as well. This is just a temporary one that I have used, but you can have a proper ishansharma.com domain name if you want to, for example, and this is how it will look like right now. You can make whatever changes you want to over here. And this is how you will be able to very easily create a website with the help of Bluehost and WordPress. Bluehost is the number one website hosting provider that you can use to make sure that your website is up and running for everyone to use without much hassle. You can check out the link in the description to sign up for the Bluehost hosting service, and you can get a discount over there as well. As you saw in this video, 
video, get it started with your WordPress website using Bluehost is simple and easy. Now, because the servers are located in India itself, if the users for your website are located in India, they will have a very low loading time, which would then boost your website loading speed and your Google rankings at the same time. Bluehost offers a free SSL certificate with every single package that you get. They also offer free caching and CDN for every single website that you get, which would thereby increase the speed of the website and how fast it loads. You also get a free SEO tool to boost your organic traffic that you can get from Google and other search engines. You will also get access to free email marketing tools, which makes sure that if you have a website like a business, then you can collect the emails of the people and then you can very easily create campaigns and you can email them at bulk. You can also migrate your website for completely free to Bluehost if you want to. You also get access to 24 by 7 support on chat as well as on phone. This is how you create your website using WordPress and Bluehost without the need to learn to code and with just a few clicks as you can see in this video itself. If you have any questions about this let me know in the comment section as well. Check out the link in the description to use Bluehost and get started today. They'll be having some offers and discounts coming up as well if you check out the link in the description. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. You can also share this video with friends on social and you can tag me at Ishan Sharma 7390 on Twitter as well as on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you are located. That's all I have for you today. I'll catch you all in the next video. Huge shout out to Bluehost for working together and making this video possible. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.